welcome to our tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Today we have the Tap Tremolo from Line 6, and the Beard's going to tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, so this is part of the Tone Core series that Line 6 put out a little bit ago. These aren't made anymore, uh, but they are available in the used market. And it was a really interesting idea in that each pedal comes with a housing, but those housings, can, or a module. Mm -hmm. So the pedal's a housing, the modules can be changed. So previously we did an episode on, or we did a series on... Leslie pedals, and we did the Rota machine, and here's the module removed from the pedal, and this was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, this when it's in there, right? Plugged that, in. That's itself, right? Not yeah. so much. Um, Can you hear? It's it? a fantastic Leslie simulator. Mm -hmm. So when we started out to do the tremolo series, I got looking around and found somebody selling the module for tap tremolo, so we bought that too. And uh, not surprisingly, sounds really good. Right. Um, so an interesting series from Line 6. They had other modules. They had a, a very popular delay module, Deco. Deco Park, I think it was called. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, they And the DL, the big green yeah, one four, yeah. is based off of that. Mm -hmm. Or that it was based off the big green one, I guess. Uh, they have... An envelope filter, they have drive pedals, metal zone type pedals or whatever. So there's a whole bunch of these modules out there. These two particularly sound really good. Um, so, features, I think. There's a few of them. Yeah. Uh, like any of the Line 6 stuff we've looked at in this series, lots of features. You have three different types of tremolos. You have an opto tremolo, you have a bias tremolo, and you have a pan tremolo. The opto would be based on like 60s Fender amps. The bias tremolo is based on, I kind of want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, let us know if I'm wrong in the, in the comments, but I'm kind of thinking Vox amps. Yep, that would make sense. The, the, the difference is that the bias tremolo is really based off the tubes and how much voltage is coming in, being fed to and coming out of the tubes and how that's driving the tremolo circuit. And if you want to know more about that, Google. Uh, <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm not being a jerk. There's, there's yeah. a lot of stuff out right, there, right. and I don't feel like I have a complete grasp on all the differences between the Opto and the Bias Trem. Um, there's some new pedals out in the market, one that we do not have for the series, but we might have to rectify that. That's really based on a Bias Trem. Because one of the cool things is, and I'm talking too much, but with the Bias Trem and the way it works, if you really play hard, hard on that, you can almost get up over the effect. Mm. Because of the way it's hitting the tubes, and when you back off, the effect sneaks back in. It sounds like a really kind of cool thing to have happen. Um, I don't know that that would happen with this, but kind of based on that sound. And then last, there's a pan feature that when you run it in stereo, it bounces between amps. And just for your listening pleasure, everything recorded on this pedal in this episode is going to be done stereo. So right. we're running stereo into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe and the PV uh, Classic 30. Classic 30. We usually have the brain fart on the fender. <laughs> right, right. So, um, you have four knobs. You have a speed knob, a, oh, I can't even, a speed knob, a depth knob, a peak knob, and a shape knob. Uh, on the shape knob, if you go all the way to the left, you're in a sine shape. If you go all the way to the right, you're getting more of your square wave. Speed, self-explanatory, it's going to be the rate. But this is also a tap tempo. So if you don't want to play with a rate, you can simply first two taps sets your, your tempo and then each additional tap will average it out. So if you want to make sure you're locking in, tap three or four times. Um, to turn it off, then you have to press and hold. And this is, yeah. Well, you don't have to press and hold, you have to press hard. Yeah. You have to press so it clicks, turn it. So red blinking means it's off. I can still set my tap even when it's off. Press a little bit harder, pop it back on. This is this is literally a stomp box. <laughs> yes. That's what it takes. Yeah. I couldn't turn it on before he started. I'm like, how do you turn this thing on? He goes, we got to press it really hard. Push that's really why hard. it's built like a tank, because you have to jump on it to <laughs> right. get it to engage. Depth, pretty self-explanatory. Um, more to the right, deeper, more of the effect is happening. And really interesting knob, and I'm actually going to turn this off. We're not going to start yeah. all at noon. 
and it does say off right there at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Uh, this is the peak knob, and what it does is it will, the harder you play, the faster the tremolo will go. So your baseline for your tremolo is what you have set on the speed. But if you dig in really hard, it will speed up, and then as your volume rolls off, mm -hmm. it will slow down to whatever your speed knob is, and we'll show you that too. So to get started here, reference him. Yes, uh, PRS 2001 single cut through aforementioned amps. Middle position. there but that's it okay uh start with well the speed is gonna be what i have tapped in mm -hmm. depth at noon shape right in the middle okay <laughs> So we normally run the knobs real quick. You want to mm -hmm. run, um, I guess, depth first. We'll take depth okay. all the way off and then we'll just roll that up slowly. Gets pulse tastic. Right. Let's leave the depth way up. Okay. We don't necessarily need to peak it, or, <laughs> but we'll leave the depth way up. I'm gonna roll the shape knob all the way to the left. That's gonna be your sign. So we'll start there and kind of roll around. But you should hear it going from a sine wave, which is more rounded, to a square wave. It's gonna be more choppy. So even more choppy than we just heard. It should have hard cuts on it. Um, you all right with the speed that? Sure. I'll, I'll try to adjust. Well, that's what we always talk about. It's interesting to play through and figure. It's going to dictate the tempo. What's that, sorry? So you couldn't hear that when we first started. That. So, yeah, I mean, you can get from a real nice kind of right, just swell kind of thing. Kind of going along the ocean and then the water start getting a little rougher. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, and so, I mean, the only knob that we haven't shown here is peak. And I think to show that, let's go back to that kind of choppy okay. thing. And I'm actually going to turn the rate. All right, so we've got the depth in the middle. We're more of a square wave. And we've turned our rate down a little bit. And so if you just give us like maybe a nice big strum so we can hear what that sounds yeah. like. Uh... All right. So for peak, I just think we demonstrate it with extremes. So I'm going to roll the peak the whole way up to the top. Mm -hmm. And so well, let's go three quarters of the way. So if Pat plays lightly, it should be about where we have the speed set but the harder he plays the louder he plays the faster it's going to speed up and we'll let him demonstrate that it's really a fantastic feature <laughs> Thank you. 
So when you get up to the high end of the right. peak, even when we first started, I rolled it back a little bit because it was like, even when you were playing light, it was speeding it up. Right. So there's a, there's, you'll find a point where you could play lightly and keep it about where it's supposed to be, but then some hard hits get mm -hmm. a little bit of speed. But if you get up on the top of that peak, a big hit sends it out into... Like hummingbird wing speed. Right. <laughs> right. So really cool stuff. We're going to turn the peak off though for now for the rest of it. Um... That was, everything we did was on bias. So if we go back to um, kind of in the middle of the shape, maybe lean a little bit that way. Um, do you want to play just a brief second of that? Sure. So we hear what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so for comparison's sake, that's the opto trim, which like your old 60s yeah. fender. This is the bias. Yeah, a little bit of more of an edge to it. It wasn't quite as smooth and as warm. It wasn't yeah. bad, but it was just different. It was definitely different. Yeah, I was having trouble really thinking what the difference was. A little more myself. of an attack, like um, just a slight edge, a little drive there. And so the last one, which I really, I'm not gonna lie, I really like. I know Pat probably really <laughs> likes too, but um, is the pan. So if we switch over to the pan, and I'm just gonna. As I can <laughs> hit this one, you're gonna hear it bouncing between amps now, like real hard bounce between amps. So, Yeah, so, I mean, I was, probably, probably not a feature you could use a lot because you don't carry two amps with you a lot. Yeah, but that's a great thing. I mean, my head was building a song. I heard the, the drummer come in. I heard the bass comer, player coming in on that, and then I heard, like, Robert Plant singing or something. I don't know what I heard after that. But So with the tap tempo ability oh, yeah, yeah, and that ability, mm -hmm. like, to just not play something fancy, but just to play something where yeah. you're letting the tremolo kind of work and lead the... Intro of a song, a bridge, yes, different verse, something, yeah, very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think is that the pedal? I think so. I think it is. That's it right there. <laughs> Line six, tap tremolo, tone core series, multiple modules. You get your tap tremolo. You get your peak feature. You get your um, opto bias or pan. What do you? Because you know after we're done here, he's going to play out. Right. So would you rather have panning 
Would you rather have... Now, here's what we do. We leave it where we ended. Okay. And we just roll that peak up about halfway. All right. Who knows what you'll get from that. I know. <laughs> Love it. So anyway, a ton more pedals coming in the Tremolo series. Uh, more unique features, more unique pedals. Please subscribe to catch more of that. Uh, hit the like button. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you would. That really helps us out. Uh, we, we put a lot of pictures up of things that are coming up on the show, things that are happening with the channel. Uh, we'd love to have you be part of the conversation. And with that, I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. I got four, three. <laughs> it's like climax. There's always something. Ah!